This is a massive river, wide enough for an aircraft carrier to pass through. To connect both sides, a bridge was built. In the original design, many piers were placed in the middle of the river, but ships passing through quickly ran into trouble because their route was blocked. The design had to change. The piers in the river were removed until only two main supports remained, raised into tall towers on each side. The bridge deck was then hung using a suspension system, but the problem wasn't over. Large ships still struggled because the clearance under the bridge was too low. Raising the bridge permanently wasn't realistic since the approach ramps would be far too long and the cost would be enormous. The solution was to make the bridge deck movable. Because the deck weighs thousands of tons, large counterweights were added at the back, working like a giant seesaw. With relatively little force, the bridge deck could lift up, allowing ships to pass through safely. When both sides of the bridge lift at the same time, stability becomes an issue, so additional support cables were added to keep the towers balanced. And to make sure pedestrians could still cross while the bridge was raised, a dedicated walkway was placed higher up, connected through the towers with stair access. This series of solutions led to the design now known as London's Tower Bridge, a structure that allows ships, vehicles, and pedestrians to share the same space without getting in each other's way. 